You spoke in the con? Yeah. I used a fake voice. What was the fake voice? Oh yeah, let me just tell you what fake voice I was using. No, I'm not telling you what fake voice I was using. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys, you guys gotta realize there's some shit, I, there's some information I just can't fucking give you. It took me like six months up in this bitch before I started telling you guys stories about myself. It took me so fucking long because I was afraid of doxing myself. I didn't do a hand cam stream for a whole year because I was afraid of doxing myself. And you think I'm gonna fuck up and tell you what I was wearing, the fake voice I was using, and every booth that I went to? Ah, 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 you underestimate Croshi. You underestimate your tyrant. How many fake voices did you use? Quite a few, actually. At least three different ones. I do have to get better because it's all about finding a balance because I do want to share things with you guys and I do want it to be fun, but it's about striking that balance. It's also why I struggle so much with telling stories about like real life because like, you know, when I told you guys about like Shoto's party and stuff, like when I went there, like I, I, I met quite a few people. <laughs> I met quite a few people and the thing is, is that I did not see any situation where they were overtly public about them being there or, you know, them posting about it. I, I know of I know of one uh, one one uh, one blonde lightning man that posted about some shit. But yo, 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 you're never going to believe this shit, guys, 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 peep game. I met up with this 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 crow guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I, listen, I ain't, I ain't gonna say no name. Not gonna point any elbows or nothing. Yeah, Lightning McQueen was there. He was like ka chow, ka chow, and then he said I am speed, and then he went out. He was late as fuck to the party though. <laughs> late as fuck for somebody that's so fast. So we got dinner first. So we shut up two hours after the party started. I was trying to show up a smooth hour after, or not two, but you know it ended up being two because we got like dinner. That's not how he tells it. He says you were early as fuck. I was early as fuck, okay? He gets there. Listen, here's the thing about LA parties, okay? Not not to spill the tea, but everyone shows up fucking late, okay? No one shows up to them shits on time, ever. So me and my friends that live in LA that like know how this shit works, because they go to these all the time, we're like, let's get dinner first. And I was like, word, I'm not showing up early and no one being there. Look, I'll just I'll just be straight. I'll be straight. I didn't fucking know. My first party in like years um i'd never been to one in like a long really never been to one honestly um not anything like that and i was told like yeah be later but i didn't know what late meant and i was told way after the fact yeah usually with parties like that you want to be like an hour maybe an hour and a half late and i was like what's the point in the fucking start time then what is the what is what is the point why not just start later i don't get it like, why, why be late? Why is that the culture? But whatever, I don't fucking know. But here's the crazy thing. Even though I was early as fuck, I was still like 40 minutes late. I was still 40 minutes late. Yeah, 40 minutes late to the party is fucking early. Yeah, believe it or not. I was, I literally got there super, I, I got, I got there what I thought was super late, but it was still early as fuck. And apparently it was awkward. Like I was like, damn, okay. And then, <laughs> yo, tell me why Connor and and crow man texted me like are you when are you gonna be here because <laughs> they didn't know anyone else there <laughs> and i was like oh um you know uh, the la party scene if you know motherfucker, you know they show up late so uh i, I got dinner first <laughs> i low-key felt bad um i felt bad i was like oh well my fault you know, I'm late to everything anyway. So it's like, what do you expect? But this wasn't even my choice. Okay, I just wanted to eat food before the party. I think the funniest thing though, I think the most hilarious thing is because I didn't understand the nature of things going on. There were quite a few people that I didn't uh, introduce myself to as Vantacrow. I introduced myself as another under another name. Uh, so there are some people that just genuinely have no idea who the fuck I was. You know, they were like, oh yeah, he was a cool guy, you know, but they, they don't know that I was Vanta. <laughs> they don't know. They don't fucking know. So it's really funny to think about that. Like there are quite a few people in that party that were just like, yeah, that was a cool ass dude. He was fun as hell, you know, because I was actually really social. I was a social butterfly. I was walking around to different like circles. I was talking as much as I could. I was enjoying myself. You know, I was very social. Talked to a lot of people. Um, but like, yeah, some people are just like, I don't know who the fuck that is. And so I get to the party, right? I get to the party. I get to the party. And they're there and they were like, honestly, I'm kind of glad you showed up late because it forced me out of my comfort zone to talk to people. And I was like, oh, that's lit. I was like, hey, you know, I did a positive by doing a negative. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really that guy for real. <laughs> they don't know I'm Venticrow bringer.
The Q in Quinn stands for quintessential.